<laughs> I know we're live already. I saw the blue screen and you're not talking. I'm going to pull up my notes on the Tullamore <laughs> Dew 12 year because I know it's been here for a while. Well, I bet it's it got is. a lot of dust on the top of it. Wow. 303 infield is my coin. 303. 304. Mm. The Lee infield. Britain's number one go to Bur battle rifle. Bird dog, first person in bourbon shenanigans. Howdy, guys. I Bird took dog. notes. I took notes on this bottle. 1996. September of 16. Wow. Almost two years ago, it's been sitting up wow. here. Wow. No being, wonder it's dusty. Being trumped for Pete shootouts and Pete this and that. Good call. Pete. Keep saying it. We're a fan <laughs> of our friend Pete. We love Pete. Amy and George are both with us. Daniel hey. Daniel Brown, Ron Bout, Jason Fisk. Are you almost a normal Mon when we get together on Mondays and shoot? The folks that live stream. Us. Yeah. So one of the things you can do with your whiskey hat when you're at the bar, it'll draw people's attention. Maybe bring the waiter or the waitress or the bartender over to you. You can spin your whiskey hat. You can spin it. That's a great story. <laughs> Thank you. Can't wait to hear the end of that one. Well, it's still spinning. You've heard it. That's the end of it right there. First time for everything, Bird Dog says. Tullamore Dew, 12 year, bottled at a disappointing 40%. Oh, that disappoints you? Yeah. Question Doesn't you? Well, I'd rather have at least 43. It's, we haven't, I'm not saying the taste is this. I just said it's bottled at a disappointing 40% ABV. If you got a, a line of whiskeys, a row of whiskeys lined up, and you're going, let's see, 52%, 62%, 48%, wow. you're already starting to fringe, cringe at the 48. You're like 67, 62, 53, 40. Well, okay, I'll give you that. If I knew nothing, I'd be like, 40. what do you want to start with? Give me the 67. Everything else yeah. will be disappointing from there. <laughs> You give me a cash strength at 67%. Wow. Irish mm, vanilla cream all over the nose. Mm. I don't think you need to move it closer to you. I think you do sometimes. It comes off a little distant. If you're not right in it, you really should be about there. Yeah, with it. yeah that is, that's the good place. That's the good that spot right is. there. When we're right in there, you'd be we like, hello. Be. We'd be like, hello. Nice, yeah. nice cream. Yeah, cream, sickle. <laughs> Who's in here? What do we got now? Yep, there's George, Rombout, Amy, Jason Fisk. Hey, ya, uh, Jack Bram Hall. You lose a bet, Scott. And yeah. Everybody's commenting on the head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did not. It's been a while. Uh, I've shaved my head a few times in the past. I think 2011 or 2012 was the last time. Right now, you look very futuristic with the tan and the and the tan line. Shape. Yeah, I need to. I shaved it Saturday morning, and I thought, well, I'll get Saturday was nice and hot out. Spent right. some time in the pool. I put some sunscreen on it, and I thought by the time Saturday, Sunday, I'll put some sun on it. Monday, I'll get some sun on it. It's a good story. Yesterday it was cloudy all day long. Yeah, it was no sun. Yep. So the white is still it's there. coming through. Yeah, it's like you're. You almost look like a cyborg. I noticed though that this area up in here is tan, <laughs> where the hair must be a little thinner. Yeah, it was it already is getting some sun. Yours would be like tan Way back in here. up there. Yeah, mine would be more in the shape of a U. <laughs> <laughs> a U is what's going on there. Uh, Raster, Raster, we had some uh, warnings in the shows we just filmed to plug your ears, so you'll be hearing some two and we three dollars shout outs. Patreon shout outs, That's right? Uh, give us the story, guys. The shaving head story. You just got it. Yep, you just got it. John Belushi, Jez Body, Jason C. Yep. Top whiskeys. Howdy, guys. How, how are we all? We are a phenomenal. George and Amy are both here. Tune. Ooh. Rombout's got a tip. Does Scott use argon oil for moisturization? No. You need to look into it. Mm. It almost makes me want to shave my head. I want to rub argon oil. That's, I don't think it's argon. It's argon. Hold on. Let me argon is like a on. gas. Like It would be <laughs> hazardous to you. <laughs> it would be a hazardous oil. <laughs> okay. It moved on me. It's been moving, and I don't see it anymore. Now, uh, Bill, the whiskey dick, he commented last night. 
in the live that he shaves twice a week. <laughs> I have to shave every day, every other day at the, at the least. Braggart. It's already, I shaved yesterday at like 6 p.m. last night, and it's already stubble. It's already stiff and need shaved again. Let me see. Hold on. Wow, that just drops on your noggin. Yeah. <laughs> Woo-wee. Look at that. Yeah, Bobby, Adventures in Whiskey, likes the head shaving. Good. Somebody Thank said you, you look like 1984, Big Brother's watching, baby. Hmm. Very Orwellian. Let's look at the whiskey. Yeah, or knows it. It's got a very <laughs> fruity, um, that, peachy yeah. kind of flavor to it. Yeah, that very light Irish mm -hmm. uh, vanilla cream triple. is in there, of course. Yeah, the triple dis mm -hmm. distilled distillation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, yep, you're going to get what you expect from this mm -hmm. on the triple distilled. What I do love are, are those peach notes that are coming through. Sweet, velvety, smooth, clean, crisp. Love it. <laughs> Food quick, looking a bit pale on the dome. <laughs> Yep. You just it needs some sun. Yep. Next time we get together, it'll be fixed. Uh, I think we shot three episodes today. We did. So they'll be hopefully by the time next Monday rolls around when we shoot some mm -hmm. more, it'll be should be blended right. in a little and bit. And you're better. wearing a hat and two of the That's shoes. the worst part when you shave your head, is that right there? <laughs> the two tone look. You look very Westworld. Very Westworld. At least old Westworld. I haven't seen new Westworld. Oh, Loch Ness Loch just popping in at work. He's Say a hi. popper. He's a popper. Morning Quig. There's some conversation back and forth. We love that. Chat it up. Uh, Top Whiskey's points out there's some great drams coming out of Ireland. There That's is, it. but you really, it's kind of like Canadian whiskeys, mm -hmm. uh, American whiskeys, Scotch. You have, there's different flavor profiles, and I believe, I believe you have to have different expectations for each. Well, that's what I Here's, love, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If you love really rich peated scotch or really rich sherried scotch and you buy a, an, an, just an Irish whiskey along these lines, you're just you're, I think you're going to be disappointed because it doesn't come anywhere near what you like in those other whiskeys. You have to have to me. And that's where you have to go. OK, this is an Irish whiskey. It's right. 12 years. Just an ex bourbon barrel casket. Triple distilled. Triple distilled. Right. And then you go, okay, wow, here. this is a really good Irish whiskey, ex-bourbon cast, yeah. 12 years old, right. triple distilled. It's coming in lighter, the single pot. Yeah. It's going to be it, some of these, like these peach flavors and whatnot that are there. Uh, yeah. my, my nephew got a new job and he was looking for a new, he wanted to get kind of a celebratory bottle. And he likes scotch. Mm -hmm. He likes bourbons. He's, uh, we've gone through some, some sherried scotches that he really liked. Good. And there were some 25 year olds that he was looking to get. And then he found a, a uh, oh, it was a, it was a, I can't, it was, it was one of, it might have been the Barry Crockett um, Middleton or, you know, it was, a, it was a $200 plus Irish whiskey. And I told him, I said, that is a good whiskey, but it's not near what you like in these other gotcha, whiskeys. Because you knew his flavor profile. Right. Right. Look at look at whiskey throttle. Hey guys, dealing with angry Germans. That's almost you every day. Of course, you're German too. Uh, at work, wish I could watch. Those Germans are all about productivity. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're supposed to be doing something productive, you shouldn't be watching us. But technically, we're Germans. So I've done the twenty three and me. I'm heavy German, heavy uh, Scotch Irish. I've got, I guess, some of my ancestry is German, but I don't. Um, Have you done 23 and Me? No. It's amazing. Um, I've it. never been to Germany. Nor I. My great-grandparents, I think they were little when they immigrated from Germany. Okay. My, my grandmother, my grandmother always made fried chicken. That's German. Ham, mashed yeah, potatoes. Right. Yeah. Bratwurst. Uh, chicken fried steaks, you know, different things along those lines. Sounds and I, and great. later I've told dad, I go, if they're German and we've got all this German background, why are, why are she, why does she make chicken fried steak all the time? Well, that was when they immigrated 
to Kensington, Kansas, which is a big German community. They okay. wanted they wanted to fit into American society, and, so they learned to make American food. Well, and country fried chicken. And that's what that's what they made. They had actually my grandma and her sister, my aunt, great aunt, had a uh, had a restaurant mm. in in Phillipsburg, a cafe, mm. fried chicken, chicken fried steaks, hamburgers. God, I want to go back in time. Just I told that. So there. where's the sauerkraut? Where's the you know the blood sausage? Where's Ooh, that's all much. the German food? Gone too far there. <laughs> the blood sausage is where I stopped. I go, how come we never? How come I never got this German food? That was why we may have to bring that back. You and I have been talking about a cookbook. We may have to work in some sauerkraut. <laughs> what would what 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 would sauerkraut go with if you mixed a cocktail? Anything? I guarantee that'd be an interesting <laughs> cocktail. Yeah, I don't know. You'd we, want. We may, we you, I think you'd want something out. peated. You'd want something strong. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that might be. Rombout says it's a shame they don't make they quit making German cars in the states. Yeah, Mexico's where they make all the VWs. All the German cars. Yeah. Curry worst. Look at that. Hmm. My great grandfather hopped a ship when he was 12. It's up in debate whether he was a stowaway or paid. I think he paid. Uh, but he said he did not want to fight for the Kaiser in World War I. And uh, landed in Ellis Island. They would not let him off until he got a sponsor, which he did which happened to be a German farm, farmer in Iowa, and he signed papers, and he had to work for him for two years for just room and board in order to pay back his train fare and whatever fees you had to pay at Ellis mm, Island. Wow. Yeah. So, That's yeah, like two years. Yep. There were checks and balances way back then, folks. But the farmer liked him so much, he then kept him on for another, like, four years, paid him, and then helped him get a farm. Huh. And then he, get, he, he hit the lottery. You know what the lottery is for a German farmer in 1912? Citizenship? 1916? No, five boys. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hit the hit the jackpot. That is good if you're on a farm. Oh, my God. All they did was work is yep. all I ever heard. Uh, bird dog had blood sausage yesterday. Wow. So, uh, but Daniel Bayer says, I haven't seen you tune in before, Daniel. Thanks for tuning in. You guys should do a battle video of all the Octomores. Mm. We, well, the problem is we have the 6.1 and the 6.3. Yep, we only have those two. That's really, I think that's the only ones we've seen here. Yep. Now, the, the, down, samples. the downfall to the Octomores is the price. They are good. Yeah. But when you're, when you're looking at it, no, uh -uh, they're state, they're age stated. Are they stated? Mm -hmm. Yeah, most that's of them are five. Ass. Most of them are five years old. I stand completely correct. Uh, they do. I think there's an eight-year-old version and a 10-year-old, but most of them are five. The 6.1 and the 6.3 are both five. It says it right on the can. I'm with you. I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was. I think I think you did that in one of the shootouts where really? we had it. You said it's in. I go no, it's a five year. Uh, like, wow. good, good to know I learned from the prior tutelage. <laughs> uh, that would be good uh, to do though, but one we'd need to see more. But that would be a costly uh, battle royale as well. And I've the, kept the, trying to contact Brook Lottie. I think they're scared of the manga. Yeah, that could be. Or the boldness. <laughs> Because I've been like, guys, we want to do some special stuff with your special stuff. Maybe that's not clear enough. <laughs> Maybe they're like, block and delete. <laughs> uh, Rombout says we should have a curry sausage with a Berliner green beer. That mm. sounds like something I would like to try. Mm. <laughs> that would be the only good, good thing. We love our show and our format. But if there was some like travel channel came out and said, we want to send the scotch test dummies around the world reviewing whiskey. And one of the stops is, is Germany. I'd be like, mm, mm. I'll do that. God, that'd be good. Uh, another new uh, tuner in her, Ivani brick film, super fan. How long have you been doing YouTube? We are five coming up on our, years. coming up on five, coming years. up October 18th. for yeah, a little over four and a half years now. Yep. So yep. Long time. long time. We are planning a five year anniversary birthday Whiskey gathering. gathering. We're yep. calling it here in Wichita, yep. Kansas. It'll be October 19th and 20th. Yep. People will descend on our town. We'll do live shows. We're gonna People have will dinner. descend we'll on descend. our town. It's going to yeah. be like a descending. We are working on, we'll have a block of rooms there. The details should be hashed out this week or next week, hopefully by July 7th, which is our 12 hours of boom. Um, we'll be selling Friday. There'll be a little bit of it. We'll hang out at the, the hotel the brewery in. Uh, with people coming in from out of town. 
And then Friday night is a it'll be tickets will be sold for a steak dinner and a scotch yep. tasting. Yep, it's a twelve ounce KC uh, strip. Saturday will be a free hangout through the afternoon, more probably late morning uh, afternoon. All things barbecue going into the well at the mo well at the hotel, oh, sorry, and then sorry, sorry, and then yeah. we'll we'll move to all things barbecue mm -hmm. uh, here in town. They've got an outdoor venue and an indoor. Mm -hmm. uh, classroom kind of we'll live shows there they've got chefs we're gonna on sell site. so sa saturday through the day will be a free hangout saturday night again we'll sell tickets there'll be meal there's going to yep. be some uh, whiskey vendors will be there with some samples some tastings yes. and then uh, live music and some live shows yep. going cousin shane shakes pennington from our 12 hours of boom will be there sunday morning we'll probably meet everybody for breakfast at the hotel that we're working with well, the and, brewery, uh, it's uh, not even a part. continental breakfast it's like a, a little bit of a cut above breakfast they've got they've got a hot breakfast but then they've also got a, re a restaurant as well uh, mm -hmm. really nice so well, we're going to join some of the fans it. even for a sunday breakfast and wait till you guys see the front area of this this drury inn was around in like what 1890 yeah maybe even a, 1870s when cowtown was going i'm not I'm sure i'm not sure if it's that old we yeah, don't know it could how be, old but yeah. it's been around they redid everything on the interior it sits along a river beautiful view but their front area has all these like circular couches and chairs and lounge areas that are all strung together. And I really think we can get 80 or so people in there. And I'm just picturing single malts and Tullamore dews and mm -hmm. cash strengths and things will be popped and we'll be moving around and manga shirts will be everywhere. Mm -hmm. What about that? Uh, they'll be in certain spots, <laughs> not every spot. <laughs> Uh, Bring your manga shirt. Bird Dog wants to know with the block of rooms, is there a discount? There is a discount right now. The more rooms we get, the more discount there is. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I don't know where, where that will lead. Right now, we blocked out 20 rooms, which are holding till September. Yeah. I don't and know I've, if they'll fill that or not. But if they say Well, we, and I've told them if anything, we could we see. With the it. interest we've been seeing so far, we could up it to maybe 30 rooms yep. at least. Maybe and, we'll and see. They've got some more space. So now they, it should so, be fun. Inclu included though is hot breakfast every morning in the restaurant and also they do their evening appetizers and a couple of drinks per guest free so, drinks yeah wow i didn't know that yeah it's probably like a beer could be i don't know either way guys you know you'll bring your own drinks that'll probably blow whatever they got away so, <laughs> um yeah, we are looking forward to it. That's October 19th. And now we got a hot date already hooking up. Amy W says she's going to meet up with George Kaplan and come. Ooh, George K's wild man. We're better watch out, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be uh, hopefully this week or next week, though, we'll get that up on the website. We'll have a page dedicated to it. You'll be able to buy tickets. Friday night will be uh, capped at 100. Yep. Um, Bard is optimistic. We will fill it. I hope. Uh, we'll that's see. all they can hold in that it's a scotch and sirloin is the name of the restaurant mm -hmm. we can't announce yet but we're working on a really nice if we can get it let's just say bottler and if they can show up then uh, that'll be who's doing our tasting uh we will have some some merchandise will be for those that come depending on what ticket you buy you might get something um, we'll probably also just have some other stuff that's available for sale and for purchase as yeah, well, just yeah. for our fifth we'll anniversary. We'll have a lot of our regular merch. There will be some Dave unique, M was asking. Okay, there will be some unique stuff there. We're already kind of looking at a unique whiskey hat that you'll only be able to get if you show up. But we're doing live shows, so even if you can't make it, virtually you'll be able to be there. Uh, Raster was asking what the name of the place is, the re the hotel. It's the Drury it's the Drury Inn. Downtown or Drury, Drury Inn at Inn. Downtown or something yeah. like that in Wichita. D R U R Y. Yep. So, um, yeah, take a look at that, and it's within walking distance of the Saturday event. It's probably four blocks away. Really nice. Sits along the river. They've been doing all this uh, improvement stuff along the river area, so it's a really nice really nice venue right now i like it i like the historical though i would take historical over some brand they've got building. i don't know if you said it they, the thing is they have a very nice the indoor seating area just in the reception area holds all it's, it's huge it holds a lot of they got couches That's chairs huge. they also have a very nice patio uh area on the back side very nice it sits on the river i can nice wait. view and that's almost and when i sat when i went in there and i looked around i thought i can already see this packed with a bunch of scotch super gods and uh, and us just hanging out mm -hmm. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I could literally see it and it was beautiful. So, and the hotel that we're working with is within is two or three blocks from the Saturday venue. Mm -hmm. So it's walking distance. Friday night is driving distance when we'll either, if you, if you drive in, if you don't have your own transportation, we will arrange, we're going well, to arrange something to get people to. Well, we're going to have maybe some kind of bus is what we're looking night. into, but you know, or maybe even some car sharing stuff. Yeah. Mm. So, all right. Um, Tullamore Dew, Tullamore Dew. 12 years, special, special reserve, reserve 40 percent triple distilled it is very good what are some of the comments i love it what do you mean we've been looking at the comments what do you well mean? you guys got to come up with a name for this event weekend of boom we've been talking about <laughs> just calling it a whiskey uh, gathering a scratch well, uh, this year anyway and, and we'll see how it goes what happens if we need to make it bigger smaller refine it'll it be, if we do bigger. it next year yeah. this year's you know it's the dummies fifth anniversary fifth birthday sure we will officially name birthday, it i suppose yeah. yeah i don't think it'll be the, the boom will stay 12 hours of boom um Did we say 304 i think you got it in there 303 because i mentioned uh the lee infield world war ii british rifle mm. um but i don't know you know what happens with our show though it's real organic a name might just appear we need to hire a raster as a salesman he says he's looking at the place online and it looks great Oh, really yeah. great he says yeah it is it's a nice place it's cool yeah <laughs> yeah i mean that if, if raster if you saw the picture of their front there's a lot of glass area but there's all these couches and seating areas R right now roughly uh, i think the price we were quoted for the blocker rooms we got was, was 124 a night mm -hmm. roughly so we've got we're, we don't have that finalized yet we've got a contract in kind of with them right. once that goes they'll give us a link we can post for people to book rooms directly through i don't know how they, if, if we ended up with 30 or 40 rooms how they would adjust the, or where the price breaks are. 48 hours of shenanigans yep <laughs> <laughs> you know our whole idea is that it's a uh, a gathering of friends basically it's not going to be nothing against uh the 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 formal whiskey events that are out there but we're definitely not black tie what we're talking about is more like a relaxed whiskey fun environment a hangout you know a, a, a social hangout i keep joking around that i if, think they get that they know that. I'll, I'll be joking around that you'll be wearing a t-shirt or a manga with a bow tie so <laughs> you know it's not going to be it but there's not a lot of those out there mm -hmm. and so the whole idea is relaxed and fun uh, October 19th and 20th. We didn't say the dates. Yeah, October 19th and 20th, Friday and a Saturday. How about uh, Cinco de Dummies from Vegas Art? I like it. Well, and what happened, we were looking, we've been talking about kind of doing this and looking at it. And I had delusions of grandeur and how big it would be and doing A, B, C, D. Where would we have it at? You know, having an international airport location, all this stuff. And someone said, look, just plan it small, just get something going. Don't worry about all the big stuff. Don't over plan it, plan something small, make it simple. And I think that's what we're doing. Oh, I guarantee that's what we're doing. So, yeah. Cause I, I think that's us small. <laughs> no fun. Simple. I mean, fun, relaxed, even simple, make whiskey fun again. I mean, there, there's no rules. Come and hang out. Enjoy whiskey. Enjoy. Rob over at whiskey in the six just tuned in. We were talking about October 19th and 20th. So uh, stay tuned. More details will be coming up on that on our fifth anniversary here in Wichita, Kansas. It's centrally time. located. Yes. A decent sized airport. A lot of people could have, uh, you know, no layover flights coming in. Yeah. Some may have a one. Yeah. Uh, Roy Aqua Vitae was going to be here. We were working with him. We both got us and him got invited to whiskey vault. Uh, they reached out to us and said, hey, do you want to come down August 25th for the opening of our distillery down here? And, you know, we were talking to Roy and we said that's definitely a better trip for him to come over. He was running into some conflicts with our October dates and August 25th worked better for him. And it was a was a good uh, time for us to be able to meet up with him anyway. So we said, yeah, come on over for that instead of mm -hmm. October. But we'll still have, I think there's some uh, whiskey tubers we, that are coming. To we had, yeah, day. some of our uh, buddy whiskey tubers expressed interest in looking at their calendars and their schedules and coming. So ho right. hopefully some of them are able to make it. Yep. We've got a whiskey vendor that's uh, getting a lot of ambassadors ready for our Saturday event. Again, we just can't uh, put out details yet just because nothing's been firmed up. 
So, but there'll be whiskey at both. Um, it's not let's, a cult. Uh, let's wrap it up. Yeah. Only two things come from Texas. Good. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Uh, Tullamore Dew, 12 year, 40%. I don't remember what it costs. I think it's around 50 bucks. That's a little pricey for it, 40, 40%, but it is pretty good. So, lunch, you? Dummies. Dummies. Thanks to everybody that tuned in. Appreciate right. it. See you guys.